Hi, this is Anand. In this clip, we will talk about how we can go in and manage configurations as a project manager or as a portfolio manager. So, I'm going to log in. I have logged in first as a guest PM, as a pro project manager. And uh, what I would like to do is go into configurations and for argument, let's manage risk area. And this is the risk area configuration. And you see the project titles here. There are two different projects for for which they are assigned and there's one more there are three here in this case and those are the three that are assigned to me here as well so 100 500 and 200 are the projects assigned and in those projects these are the risk area titles that are already there now remember that when an admin creates um, certain configurations those are templates and those come in on projects as standard but we realize that every project has a need for its own configuration and every PM or a, or a portfolio manager needs to do it based on their style and based on industry standards as well. So this enables them to go in and change that. So again, if you want to go into demo project, that shows you what are the risk area titles there. And uh, we can go in and add a risk area. We can go in and you know edit a certain risk area to suit their needs. For example, in this demo project, I'm going to say I don't have an effort or a cost risk area. I'm going to say this is something completely different. So um, you know, I'm going to say a test risk area. And that will show up here as well. So what this does is, when you add a risk, um, this particular risk area will show up in the drop down. The value will show up. That way you can select whichever value you've assigned or configured for that particular project. So this is this can be done from a project to project, uh, from a project to project basis. Um, the same concept applies to a portfolio manager role there is absolutely nothing different so again whether it's a project manager or a portfolio manager you can go into this area and change um, the configurations same thing for risk control um, same thing for risk response and the same thing for risk status as well so all these are configurations that can be managed 